All right, guys, we are going to talk about unit 24 in Arizona today. Uh, Arizona Deer Draw is open live, and we're talking Arizona Deer Draw strategy and going through Arizona unit by unit um, and species by species, 24 A and B, which it's divided into. 24 A is the eastern side of 24. Um, its eastern border is a San Carlos Indian Reservation. Uh, it's a pretty pretty good unit. So we're going to talk about mule deer and coos deer. So 24A and 24B both give out mule deer tags. There's more mule deer in 24B just because it's lower um, and it's got a little bit of that lower country that the desert mule deer like to do. So um, if I was to try to hunt mule deer in 24A, obviously I would, um, I'd look in the lower country, kind of some of that stuff that borders 24B and also the San Carlos in that lower elevation, kind of more desert flats country. Not an easy hunt. Um, and you know, mule deer are tough to find in those, in those earlier seasons, it's hot. So just be aware, if you guys draw a tag in 24 for mule deer, whether it's 24 A and B, um, I'm going over it a little bit on the map and kind of focusing on some of the mule deer stuff first. Um, and just kind of pointing out some areas that are good mule deer, have pretty good mule deer populations. But again, you know, sometimes when you're hunting mule deer, then this doesn't necessarily apply with coos, but when you're hunting mule deer, you're not really looking for the most population uh, for a buck. Even a small buck will, will do what big bucks do sometimes. So if you're looking for a mature type buck, um, look in areas that aren't heavily traveled by uh, humans, look in areas that aren't, uh, they're not gonna be pounded by other deer or cattle quite as much. Now they can live in the same areas, but uh, typically bigger mule deer bucks during hunting season, during the rifle season when they're hard horned, they are not gonna be uh, around does quite as much. So if you see groups of does, that's great. It, it uh, obviously indicates that there is food and water and, and enough of the habitat can provide um, everything a deer needs to survive. However, don't let that fool you into saying you're going to go find d bucks right around those bunches of group, groups of mule deer does. So get in a country a little bit more uh, remote and, uh, and some of that stuff is a little bit harder to get to where bucks can feel a little bit more comfortable, like they have a little bit of breathing room. So that's my mule deer spiel for 24 A and B. Obviously 24 B is the better mule deer. They give out more tags, bigger populations, um, stick in some of that lower country. Okay, let's move on to coos deer because coos deer is kind of the icon in unit 24. It is, there is several seasons for both 24 A and B. There's really good coos deer populations all throughout each unit. When you drive through 24A, it's kind of crazy. I mean, it looks like a giant rock pile. You know, when you're going through Globe or whatever, it's it's just like just rocks everywhere. Just it looks like giant rock pile, rock pile mountains. You know, basically um, on the northern side and both on the southern side, there's just big mountain ranges um, that inhabit all that habitat. Awesome coos country. Doesn't it really look like it's that fun to go hunting. It doesn't look like it's, it's kind of wild looking country, but there are giants in there. Um, there's some really big coos that get taken out of 24A every single year. So uh, my approach is um, obviously start with the higher elevation stuff, you know, uh, on each side of the road there, because the road splits 24A in half. There's some higher elevation mountains. And so I would approach it from a, a place where you get drive up as far as you can, um, then locate water and then spend your time scouting. So what's different about coos deer is they don't mind being around does. Big bucks will hang around does. They'll hang around little bucks. They, so basically you're looking for populations that are carrying deer in, in, in ridges and, um, uh, and, and different little spots in some of these mountain ranges that, uh, that have what deer need. So there's gotta be water, uh, food cover. Obviously you don't need that much for coos deer. They don't need a ton of food. They don't need a ton of water. Um, but any population will indicate to you that, hey, this is something that the coos deer like. There could be a buck in here. So take your time and, and pick that apart too. So really good hunting in 24A. You got to be pretty physical. Um, you got to hike into places where guys are not going to be able to drive their quads to. And there's plenty of spots like that. So just be ready to go hiking um, to get some to get after and into some of that bigger meal, uh, bigger coos deer country. Sorry. Um, and then as you go west towards Phoenix, so I, I didn't describe 24 in general, but 24 is basically just northwest of Phoenix. It, it, it touches um, basically the outskirts of the Phoenix, you know, greater areas, 
uh, like Queen Creek, Cape Creek, all that stuff that's on the eastern side. Um, anyway, 24B is you're headed west. So headed west from 24A or straight east out of Phoenix. And you will see uh, the Superstition Mountains. They're wild looking mountains. It's a wild looking landscape. Very famous, uh, uh, just wilderness area. Um, there's been some uh, gold like, uh, you know, mystery, uh, fortunes, uh, the lost Dutchman gold, interesting stuff. If you guys ever look it up, look up superstition mountains. And there's some, uh, there's some interesting stuff that if you're like a treasure hunter, you know about the superstition mountains. If you're a hunter, you're looking for a coos deer. That's our kind of form of treasure. Um, definitely a great place to start. And as I'm sure you guys know, if it's designated wilderness area, which the superstition mountain range is, um, you can't be driving quads around. You can't be uh, driving a truck around. No uh, geared vehicle. So expect to go hiking. Um, really, really focus on where there's some water. So uh, there's, you know, you got to find water. There's not a ton of water typically in designated wilderness areas, especially uh, the superstitions, pretty, pretty limited in certain sources. This year, there's going to be a, lots of pockets of water. So the deer, basically, when there's a lot of rain, like it is this year, they don't have to move very much. And so they're going to be more isolated and in little pockets that are still holding water, where on another year, a dry year, they have to come out of the mountains, come out of those uh, crags and find water in more obvious places. So this year, specifically, if you're hunting the superstitions, get into some of that stuff that is a little bit more um, remote and, and look for water, look for sign. Um, Coos deer are very habitual, so if you see sign, if you see a lot of fresh sign, they are there. You may not see them if you're hiking around, but they are there. Uh, mule deer are different. They could be 30 miles away. Um, that could be like they're a different season for them. So where they spend spring and summer and fall can be very, very different. Where a coos deer typically lives in the same areas year round, depending on water sources, um, if those change or feed or fires or anything like that. So uh, that's 24 A and B guys, good luck. Um, get after it. Uh, that's one of those units where, hey, it's real close to home. If you live in the Arizona area, you live in Phoenix area, get up there, go scouting, familiarize yourself with every little part of it, and then focus on a section where you find, found the most sign, the most deer, and, uh, and, and you'll be successful. And, and it, it, success isn't always shooting a big buck on your first hunt, but it's a hunt where, hey, you guys can draw it every couple years or every year in some cases. So get after it, learn the country. And if you need any help, hit me up on my links below. If you have any questions, hit me in the comments. Um, glad to help out, glad to uh, hopefully educate you guys and understand 24 is uh, what it's all about. 24 A and B, mule deer, coos deer, all that stuff. So I'm gonna come at you guys with some more units. We're gonna talk 27, 28. And uh, heck yeah, I'm fired up. Arizona Deer Draw, June 6th deadline. Talk to you guys later.